We all live within our own realities. On a typical day, we tend to think about what we need, how we're feeling, and what we expect from others. But if we want to connect with someone else, we need to consider what it might be like to be in their place. And that requires empathy. Empathy is a core component of emotional intelligence, and it's a skill that's well worth developing. So let's take a look at what empathy is, why it's necessary, and how you can develop it. First, empathy gets confused with sympathy, but there's a clear distinction. Sympathy is feeling pity for someone. It's acknowledging their emotions and saying, I feel sorry for you. Empathy, on the other hand, is understanding someone's emotions. It goes beyond recognition and asks that you consider someone's perspective as if it were your own. To experience empathy, you need to imagine yourself in someone else's place and tap into how they're feeling. For leaders, that's a crucial skill that leads to several benefits. The first benefit of developing empathy is that it promotes open communication. When speaking empathetically, you can fine-tune your message to fit a person or situation. And when listening, empathy helps you put aside your thoughts and pay attention to what someone else is trying to say. Second, empathy increases productivity. Rather than offering guidance based on your assumptions, it helps you understand exactly what others need to boost their success. Third, Empathy cultivates employee trust. It shows your employees that you're aware of their feelings and will take those emotions into consideration. In turn, your employees feel free to let their guard down since they know their needs won't be overlooked. And fourth, empathy boosts morale as it helps your staff feel respected, safe, and heard. So, how can you develop empathy for your staff? Here are five tips. The first tip for developing empathy is to practice active listening. Rather than interpreting or thinking about what you're going to say next, focus on the speaker. Pay careful attention to the emotion behind their words. Notice their body language and try to connect with their feelings. Second, be present and unplug. When another person is speaking, give them your full undivided attention. Put down the technology and don't gaze off into the distance. Third, get curious and ask questions. Rather than making assumptions, ask clarifying questions and try learning as many details as you can. The more you know, the more likely you are to understand the full picture of another's reality. Fourth, if an employee is struggling with a specific task, you can also literally put yourself in their place. Let your staff member walk you through what they're doing and how they're struggling. That will allow you to understand their pain better and come up with a solution. And finally, focus on relating to feelings rather than events. Everyone experiences things differently, and your interpretation of an event might be very different than someone else's. So pay attention to the resulting feelings and ask yourself, can I relate to that emotion? Empathy is a skill that takes some practice, but it's worth the commitment. So, remember these tips and make an effort to have those deeper conversations. The more interactions you have, the more likely you are to understand what your employees are thinking and feeling. And that's what empathy is all about.